Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Noveira Serrano, President of the European Mobile Society. And we are here in uh, March 2013, uh, updating you about what is happening here in Valencia, Spain, in our pre-encounter that in a few weeks will gather all representatives around the world. Then we are here studying with the representative and student that has uh, arrived uh, before and taking profit of this time and uh, spending our time together in order to study, to train and to improve our skills and techniques. We are here today studying some special techniques studied under Jiu Jitsu that uh, are very interesting because uh, his idea were originally uh, performed by Yoroi, by uh, Japanese traditional armor. Then, in this case, we will uh, see different uh, concepts, different characteristics that links us to this inner tradition, to this ancient tradition that uh, it's uh, away from more modern studies. That, in this case, uh, we are starting with the UK, in this case, Matthias Sam, representative from Paraguay, uh, coming here and trying to catch me on the body from Amoro Tego side, that it could be also, for example, a uh, typical throw like Ryote Kagyotoshi or whatever. It's to say he is trying to employ uh, his both arms in order to catch me and throw me to the ground. Then, uh, as we have seen in, in prior videos, it's very important how to anchor, how to perform the anchorage in order to avoid him to take me to the ground. That's, then, in this case, this time, he is cutting me from the body, taking out my, my hands with the aim here of cutting strongly, please, with a lot of strength and trying to uh, throw me to the ground as I have seen. Uh, in this case, we will stop him employing what it's called an anchorage. Here, when he's coming, my uh, right arm with this line, the other side, the other line of the, of the arm, will stop his shoulder, his left shoulder, on this position, because avoiding him to uh, to have a uh, smaller space is to say we are wanting to have the more space in order to have uh, more force in order to avoid his throw. Then from here, my left arm it's coming to the to the side and stopping him in this position. As we can see, my left arm is going around and downward his armpit on this side and downward his neck in order to perform a strong hand courage in order to avoid him to throw me down. If I ask him to, to throw me uh, to the ground, please, Matthias San, try to do it. He will be with a lot of uh, struggles in order to arrive to the point he was aiming. Then in this case, we are stopping and moreover we are using our weight in order to weight his right shoulder, in order to have a strong position, a strong base, in order to defend again uh, his, his attack. From this position, we will use my right hand in order to pass over the left, uh, sorry, the right arm around his armpit on this position, because we will have here this strong uh, control. We have to uh, remember that in this situation we are uh, remaining with armor. Then our hits or strikes uh, to the face or to different areas of the body are not, uh, are not permitted. Not because anyone will avoid us, but his armor, his do, his kabuto will avoid the, the, the possibility of striking and damaging the enemy. Then we will need to use uh, the flexible part of the armor that uh, makes him capable to move his, his joints. And in this case, we will use our weight using the armor in order to avoid him to catch my soul. If I let him pass to the other side and I am not taking control with my weight, 
he could regain a position, please go to my back and, for example, perform other kind of grab or catching me by the, by the backside or trying to perform a uh, choke or whatever. Then it's very important that any step we uh, perform in this technique could be enough uh, base. Then with here, my weight is uh, weighing him down, controlling and I have the access to the right leg in this position. From here, I will take going to this position that is still having control of his right arm and, in more, uh, and moreover, we have control on this right, uh, with his right leg. He will be uh, avoiding, he, avoiding me to, to throw to the ground, but I will employ this strong position to throw him to the ground in this position. I will be using my weight, my strong parts of my body, like my elbow, my shoulder, in order to throw him to the ground. From this position, I have, uh, for, to end the technique, the following idea. I have, uh, uh, near to me, his knee, because his knee is weakened in this situation. He has, of course, protection on this side, this side. Whatever I strike, he will be, independently I have also a strong, a, a strong part of my hand. He has his protection and this will strike to a hard part of his armor and it's not uh, hurting him that it's our final aim. Then, what we have it's the access, the access to the joints. Making a joint lock is a safer way to perform a technique that will injure uh, the enemy. Then, in this case, we will take from this position his, uh, his ankle, his right ankle. My right hand passes to his left calf and press very strong to the ground on this side. From here, using my weight, my shoulder, not only to press his, uh, his left knee, but also from here to perform this Hisakudaki, as we are seeing on this position. Then I am using my other side of my right arm and my shoulder in order to weight to his knee, in order to have his control. From here, I have uh, this idea. I pass his ankle inside my knee from here and I have the same control with uh, making meeting both of my hands on this position and making a control. But uh, the most important here is what we are changing our idea of breaking technique. We are using what it's called Koi Hisakudaki. Koi it's uh, from the Japanese fifth and uh, Hisakudaki is because we are smashing his knee. Koi because we are trying to perform like a torque, like a torsion. Then we will use this, the following idea. We will be uh, going outside, trying to uh, put a distance between his ankle and his body here, stretching him and performing the same control to his knee. Then here, one more time, from here, go to the ground and get strong. He will feel in this situation that he is completely controlled and we are damaging his knee because here, in this first position, independently that I am using my weight, he has a strong uh, liberate using his, his leg biceps. For example, if I have my, my point here, try please to make force with your right ankle, please, try to, to bend your, your, your leg here, try to do it, he's strong here, but when we pass to this point, we are going outside, we are stretching himself, and here he still has the possibility to defend, he has no strength here. We can uh, change the position going to the other side and this will change the idea because we could 
break his knee from this side and using this other side that it's we are continually continuously stretching his his leg from here and using this pressure on the inner side of the leg where the armor is not protecting him we can press here in order to perform this kind of control we could do it in order to avoid him for example having control of this leg for example and pressing here in order to protect and we have the final control in order to end the technique then this is an interesting technique that we are starting today with clever movements, with clever passages that uh, we are wanting to explain to you in order to keep you updated in our official channel in Masugiyama on YouTube in order to, to follow what is your, your practice today or practice, uh, daily practice that we are having here in the Homu Dojo for Europe in Valencia, Spain. Thank you very much.